<laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. It's Saturday morning and we are at Akron. This morning we're at Brandon Country Park in Suffolk. Beautiful setting. We can hear the sounds of the birds around us and Dawn's going to tell you a little bit about the car parking. <laughs> well, as you can see, plenty of car parking. Um, I believe we're in one of many. There's one over there we just drove to called the Orchard Car Park. And now we're in the one that's right next to the cafe, which is just down there. It uh, costs um, two pounds to park for two hours. We've put three hours in because we want to explore a little bit of Brandon Country Park before and after our run. And as we like to do on this channel, we're going to bring you a little bit about the history of the place we're at today for Parkrun. Behind me is Brandon Country Park House. I believe it was bought by a man called Edward Bliss in the year 1820. Bliss had made his money from selling gun flints during the Napoleonic Wars. And as befitted a wealthy industrialist, he wanted his own country seat. So he brought Brandon Park in the early 1820s. It's an absolutely beautiful morning, the sun is shining um, and as I swing around you can see the park itself is glorious so we're really looking forward to doing this one. Yeah we believe that it's a two lap course, it runs through some open heathland, we've got some forests, the Reliefs and Arboretum that was built here by Edward Bliss when he um, had made his money from the, the flint industry and wanted to put his workers to doing something else. Um, so it really is one of those spectacularly, gloriously uh, wonderful parkrun venues that we're so lucky to enjoy around the country. This is the latest in a series of parkrun vlogs that we're making from our travels around the country. You may have seen the previous ones if you've not checked those out. And if you'd like to get regular parkrunning updates and other training and racing reviews, please hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you a penny and helps the channel to grow. And please give this video a like. And we've run into a um, multi park runner. How many have you done now, Simon? 550. 550. And there was you thinking you might be the one with the most today. <laughs> so, yeah, the only table I can finish top of these days is the most park run. Not to be today. <laughs> Lovely um, morning, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's uh, warmer than I expected. Have you done this one before? <laughs> well out of the way, isn't it? Yeah, it's a long way from home, so no. <laughs>
I'm finished and uh, I'm not sure what time I did because I stopped my watch and uh, saved it before looking. Put it up on the screen for you now. <laughs> yes, <laughs> so it was a lovely course, uh, all off road, as you would, well, what you would expect really in a, in a forest, but um, quite undulating in places, lo a lot of sandy terrain, wasn't mm. there? Yeah, I found there was uh, never any part of the course you could really get a rhythm going because you were going from tree roots to sand yeah. to grass. I mean, it's a good, good overall challenge. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Sort of working a lot of your muscles. Uh, but we took it quite easy today anyhow because we've got a 10 mile uh, road race tomorrow. We have, yes. Um, and as you know, one of our mottos is fail to prepare, prepare to fail. <laughs> so my left lace came and done at half a mile. My watch ran out of battery at about two miles. So all in all, you never to all to make the same mistakes over and over again. No, but the sun is shining, it's a beautiful morning and uh, what's not to enjoy when you're on a park run? So that is, I believe, number 482 park run completed for me on my 255th course, I think. And for me, I am not sure, so I will put mine up on the <laughs> screen for you uh, because I'm not as good as remembering numbers as John. So we'll uh, report back in later when we get the results, but until then, see you soon. <laughs> So here we are back at the place we're staying for the weekend um, the results have come through. I finished in a time of 27 minutes dead, which was fifth in my age category. And you? 27.02, just behind you. <laughs> That's right. And in your age category? Second. Okay. Interestingly, the first finish of the day was a man called Ian Kimpton, who we have memories of from Park Runs oh, about a decade ago in the Yorkshire area. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he won the Barnsley one, didn't he? He oh. won, did he? Yeah. No, he was first finisher. He was sorry. first finisher at Barnsley, <laughs> just, just pipping me in second place by about two and a half minutes. Yeah, but back then we did say win, didn't we? Because mm. they were time trials. They were, yes, yeah. yes. Um, and the website used to say this week's winners. That's right, it did, yeah. absolutely, mm. yeah. yeah. Um, so um, we hope you've enjoyed our parkrun coverage. Um, we look forward to seeing you next week. Um, if you like our regular parkrun updates, please think about giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel. So until next week, keep on keeping on. Keep on keeping on.